Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Travis and I are back working on the baler today. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take the gearbox off the baler. We're going to flip it around so that we can run a faster PTO speed on, on it. You can see the gearbox is back in there. We took the PTO shaft all, off already. Now we're going to go over to the side of the baler. There's a cotter pin in this shaft. And that goes from the gearbox over to these chains, which run actually runs the baler. So we got the first chain off. And now that we have both chains off, we can go ahead and pull the sprocket off. Because we have to take the sprocket off to take the shaft out because we need to replace that too because this shaft will not work because once we flip the gearbox around the actual ends of the gearbox will be a different length so we have to put in I believe a slightly larger shaft in there so now we got the spro sprocket off we can go ahead and start working on taking the flange off By the time this is all said and done, it took us about an hour to do. It went pretty quick. So now that shaft is loose in there, pulled it out. Looks good. Now we're going to work on taking the gearbox off. And all that's holding the gearbox on are our four bolts on top. And the gearbox is just hanging down from above. So once we take these four bolts off, the gearbox should fall down and we can take it out. We had to take one or two hydraulic hoses off too, so that we could get at the bolts. Well, there's the gearbox itself. All we're going to do is flip it upside down. So now it's loose in there and it should fall right out. Travis is taking the wire wheel to the sh actual shaft itself. Now we're just doing this to get any of the grime off or any rust that might come on. And there's the adapter that we're putting on. Flipped, flipped which side it was on. Now we took the plug out of the bottom and since we're flipping it around upside down there's a breather on the other side that we're taking out right now. Travis, there it is. And that just allows any air to escape when, it, when and if the gearbox heats up from running. It allows the, end, the air to leave the gearbox. And we just have to put the plug in on the other side. We had a small leak when we put when we flipped it around because the plastic ga gasket that was on there it was old, so we just took it off and scraped all the old plastic that was kind of grounded into the metal. We just Scrape that off and works fine now. So now we set it back in there. It's upside down as to what it was before. And we had to hold it up. You can see the breather tube there on top. So now we're back on the side. We have a new shaft. This is the longer one. to 
put the flange back on. So if you had a couple different tractors and they varied in PTO speed and you wanted to switch around what speed the baler ran at, you'd have to go through and do this. Just tap the sprocket on. You couldn't believe how easy it was at this point. First chain back on. Now all we're doing here is putting the shaft back on. It's held on by two bolts, like all PTO shafts are. This pretty much sums up what you'd have to do if you want to switch the PTO speed. If you want to slip, change the speed that the baler runs at. So, if you have any of you have any more questions about what needs to be done if you need to do this on your own, be sure to leave question in the comment section. Be sure to check out my other videos. Be sure to tell other people about how farms work. Thanks for watching guys.